Hey guys, this is Jay Briggs here, and in this video I want to cover stuff about Connor the Sushi Packer and Koi Comedian 2002. Now before I continue, don't attack any of them after I mention their wrongdoings in this video. And this video is not meant to attack them in any way, shape, or form. This is just a video explaining what went wrong and how we're looking to better ourselves in the future. So do you guys remember that this Christmas special back in 2020? The Dish Christmas special back in 2020, the one where Hannah was outraged as well as some of you guys have seen. Andrew made a post regarding him a few weeks ago and I will link that in the description down below. Honestly, I didn't like that new idea at the first place, but I didn't want to hurt Connor's feelings because, for rejecting the idea, so I used it. And unfortunately, that began to ruin Hannah's image. My original idea was to just have her just being sad like disappointment. I really wish me and Andrew had really thought about what this would uh, what this would do to Hannah in the long run, which is why now we are being extremely careful on the way we uh, portray the girls and other characters during certain situations. To be frank, some of his ideas on other episodes aside from the Christmas special were downright stupid dumb, but be but be aware, don't attack him for all of this, please. We should have also done better by thinking long and hard, instead of just being sensitive over other people's feelings, not Hannah's, Connor's, of other of his ideas, or other people's ideas as well. Which is good sometimes, but in these cases we should have thought clearly and explained a bit better to him. Sometimes it's important to put facts over feelings and the fact that we have an audience, and one wrong move, we're toast. So yeah, that's it about Connor. All right, now let's talk about Corey. All right, with Corey, he has he is um a little more far superior to being a little a little bit more wrong than Connor. But whatever you but don't attack him in any sort of way. Way please. The first thing we want to talk about is his scripting. So as most of you remember, many Dish scripts in Dish Season 2 had terrible script writing while we had something to do with it. A lot of it was Corey because he wrote a lot of the scripts, not just Dish, also the Andrew Orozco series and Andrew Orozco 4, so after all that we had to dismiss him from scripting. Second thing is his clumsiness. Sometimes he's the kind of person that if you tell to go east, he'll go west. Like thinking the opposite direction of where we're really going. Maybe he doesn't realize that he does it, but he does. Third thing is he is not good at keeping surprises when we were planning on something for the characters to surprise the community. Corey what somewhat spills the beans of our surprises like for example Riley going to be on high school we were going to keep it as a surprise for the community and Corey spilled the beans on exposing it in one of his videos which was the one where she and Jahari bail bail Eloise from prison we want to keep quiet about that and surprise the viewers that with the video when we with the video when it came out but sadly we couldn't do it because of that Fourth thing is, he sometimes doesn't listen to anything we say. Like when we specifically tell him what to do or not to do, he just does it. Like I said earlier, when we say go east, he goes west, etc. Fifth, he has destroyed our character's images like when he made that video where Eloise let a bear into VHS and at the end where she ended up in prison. Her parents and Ramirez scolded her in an extreme high level, which caused the community to get upset, and that's how their reputation got derailed. In the next video he made where Kenward robbed Wasabi's toy store. He ran from the authorities in his bike while they ran in their cop car till they ran into him, which gave him critical injuries. And during the prison part again, his parents also scolded him in, a, in an extremely high level, which didn't just derail our character's reputation, also the cops too. Because of that, 
and because of some annoying babyish cryings that he added in a majority of, in, of his other videos. We had to work twice as hard on fixing their reputations and everything, and we're still doing it today. And finally, we the, he doesn't. And finally, he does not understand our audience very well. We have ex we have extremely picky viewers, and all we wanted to do was impress. But his scripting and ideas made it hard for us to do so. Although it was partially our fault too, because we didn't catch it sooner and try to stop it. But, well, that's all we want to say. Like I said before, we're doing everything in our power to fix our characters, their personalities, and their reputations as said characters. Adios. And like I said before, do not attack Connor or Corey. And this is just me giving opinions. And all right, adios.